Hi everybody and welcome to another video. So this one's just gonna be a vlog so we're just gonna go through you know the day in the studio. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees There we have it. A new clean wheel. Well, not new wheel, but it almost looks new. <laughs> a clean wheel, anyways. So now we're ready for some new clay. And I'm not sure, but we've either got the raku clay here or bringing out the red clay again. Um, I haven't decided what I feel like throwing next. But yeah, we have a clean wheel for it. Let's talk about what I'm doing for the patrons. I do have a bunch of mugs that didn't really end up having a purpose or a point to them. Um, and I didn't get them done in enough time to be able to put them in the art shows or online. So what I'm doing is I'm going to have the patrons help me make a mug. And I've got a couple of choices here. So I'm actually going to be taking pictures of them. And then they can pick like which shape they want um, out of the couple of shapes that I have. And what kind of design they want. Like, do they want an octopus mug? Do they want some of my fairy tale stuff? Um, things like that. So, um, I put a poll up about what kind of mug they wanted. And, um, then I also am going to do another poll for, like, what shape they want it to be. Um, so basically they're going to help me in the whole design process to make a mug from beginning to end. And it'll be just a mug that they've helped me create. And it will be a patron-only mug. So they're the only ones that are going to have access to buying it. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. And a little bit different handle than I typically do too. This one's another kind of round squatty one. And then I've got like a typical taller mug with a typical handle. And yeah, I'm going to get focused. Alright. And so that's going to kind of be the choices they have for what kind of mug they want to do and what kind of design they want and they'll help me with the colors and um, what they want to see on the mug and stuff. Hi everybody! Um, so this is a couple days later. I figured I'd show some of my throwing process so this is probably going to be more like a weekish vlog more so than like a, a daily vlog which is what I originally planned. Um, but I kind of forgotten that I had like deep cleaned my studio and stuff so I like walked in and I was like oh it's so nice in here nice and clean and um, I don't have to do any extra work to get ready so I was pretty excited about that what I plan on doing today like what the plan is is I'm having um, another artist come in to do some painting like I said I'm doing a patreon Thing where they're designing a mug and they really want an octopus mug so of course I've got to have Ferntail come in and do the octopuses because there's no way I can compete with that level of awesome octopus detail so um, they're gonna be coming in to do that and so while they're doing that um, I am going to actually be throwing some Raku pieces 
um, I'm gonna be using Raku clay and like I, I have like this really cool thing that's happening I got some new equipment that's gonna make it awesome to do some Raku firing and I'm really excited about it and I will be making a video about me getting all the things and firing the Raku and stuff like that and um, it probably won't be at the clay connection this time and I'm like super excited about showing you guys exactly what happened exactly what I got and stuff like that but that'll probably be a future video but I do need to make some pieces for that Raku fire specifically for those of you who don't know I have smogus coming up which means um, it's like a dragon thing um, a big dragon thing and you know all of us nerds who are really obsessed with dragons <laughs> um, it's based off of smog in The Hobbit and so basically the whole month is about dragons so I usually do some kind of giveaway some kind of like you know big promotion thing in my shop with uh, that's all dragon themed and so for that I'm going to be making a ton of dragon pieces and so along with the Raku I'm probably going to be doing some red clay to get more dragon pieces done so that's what we're going to be doing doing some Raku throwing and then I'm hopefully going to get to throwing some of the red clay so that I can start on those dragon mugs um, I probably honestly should have started on the dragon mugs last week um, but I admit I was a little burnt out from doing all the shows and the big huge update that I had and stuff so um, I took a little bit of time off um, just to recoup, but yeah, we're going to be doing some dragons and some raccoons. little update I didn't actually get to the red clay so you won't see any of that in the video I did get some raku pieces thrown one piece just wasn't good enough so I decided to scrap it um, but I am going to show you the other pieces that I did make for that and yeah all right so we got this vase here cute round thing and yeah it's it's as big as it looks I actually posted a picture on my Instagram of like how big the bowl is compared to me like so you could actually see the actual size of the bowl um, so that was kind of fun um, it was a lot of clay I don't usually throw that much I tend to stick around mugs and saucers and things like that so it was kind of fun to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and throw something a little bigger so I didn't get to the red clay because I remember I have a few pieces that needed to get carved and painted. Um, like I said, I had my friend come in and paint another octopus mug. And then these are going to be dragon mugs. That's a dragon mug. And this one's just going to be a fun little experiment, which will be kind of fun to show you. So yeah, I actually ended up carving and painting those instead of getting to the red clay. I want to thank you guys for watching my little mini vlog because I can do more vlog videos. I can show my creative process. Um, I was even thinking about possibly doing a video on how I developed my personal pottery making style. Um, if that's anything that you might be interested to, just let me know in the comments. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.